So now we shift our focus to amides, and as far as synthesis goes, uh, pretty much all the interconversion of the carboxylic acid derivatives, and being that it's pretty low on the reactivity chart, which is a good thing, by the way, uh, they are peptide bonds, we want them to be very stable and not very reactive, keep our proteins together. Uh, but being that they're at the bottom end of the chart here, just about all the other uh, carboxylic acid derivatives can be turned into them. We can turn an acid chloride or an anhydride there, and we can do it with a strong nucleophile or with a weak nucleophile. Uh, we can turn an ester into one. Again, we can do it with acid catalysis or with a strong nucleophile. And we can also do it with a carboxylic acid, but only with acid catalysis. But all the other functional groups can be turned into an amide. So now we'll dive into looking at the reactions of amides, and as we said earlier, they're kind of low on the reactivity, so there's not going to be a whole lot here. Uh, we don't have to worry about them reacting with organometallics in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but we do have one hydride reduction. If you recall, it was a little bit unique. We're going to use lithium aluminum hydride again. Sodium borohydride does not react with amides. Uh, and in this case, instead of doing the normal nucleophilic acyl substitution, it actually does deoxygenation. The oxygen leaves preferentially before the nitrogen does. And so you just end up with an amine. And again, don't confuse this with the Clemenson or wolf kishner reductions for ketones and aldehydes. This is specific for amides turning into amines. So now we'll briefly look at the interconversion with carboxylic acid derivatives, and there's not much to do here. Again, amides are pretty low in reactivity near the bottom of the food chain as far as carboxylic acid derivatives go, and pretty much you're either going to do the acid hydrolysis and turn it into a carboxylic acid, or you're going to do the base hydrolysis and turn it into a carboxylate. You don't really have any other options. You can't turn it into a, a more reactive acid chloride, a more reactive anhydride, or a more reactive ester in any kind of great yield. Uh, just the acid or base hydrolysis.